Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So, on my way back to Disney, to Disney Springs, because I don't know if you watched any of my dodgy um, box opening action figure videos in the last few days, but <laughs> I, lost, I lost my tripod at um, Galaxy's Edge for my camera. And the wife sent an email and uh, Disney found it. So, I'm off to Lost and Found pick up my tripod I can't believe it I mean it, it, my wife got it for me with, with the camera I just couldn't believe it so uh, honestly I've, I'm I've fallen in love with Disney again I, I love this place I think it's great I've had the best time so now we're gonna have a free day on uh, Disney property gonna get the bus again which is free to um, what's it is to the uh, Disney Caribbean or Caribbean if you're American um, beach resort it's like hotel and stuff and we're gonna get get off at Jamaica and then catch the Skyliner because I remember it being built the last time I was in um, Florida they had they they built the uh, the poles uh, for, for the Skyliner to run across so that, that they were being built but um, I've never been on it and uh, <laughs> the Skyliner always reminds me of Eleanor dreaming because I, I they're they're two of the best um, Disney YouTube vloggers that I've ever watched. And I know they don't do it anymore, but I miss them. I, I think they're great. They're proper, I don't know, they, they, proper detail they put into it and effort. And I miss them and their Christmas vlogs. A lot of the other ones are just rubbish, but Eleanor Dreaming, <laughs> this, this reminds me of them. I think they're great. And um, very much like when I went on the, uh, when I went to the Millennium Dome for my birthday, I mean, is it, it's not, it's called the O2 now. And we went on the cable cars across the River Thames. I think, I, I think it's probably exactly the same uh, cable cars. But um, yeah, I've been wanting to do this for some time. And again, it's free. So the plan is, is to get it over to um, uh, Epcot. And because uh, and, we've, we've done that before, because you go to Epcot, you go to the boardwalk. And the boardwalk is a lovely resort with shops and um, restaurants but during the day it's so relaxing and chilled out you can go for a nice walk around the boardwalk uh, and you can also get a little boat so the plan is, is to get a little boat all the way back to Hollywood Studios uh, because you know I love the place I did you know I wasn't expecting to do this but um, you know obviously I had to pick up my uh, my lost property so yeah get a boat to um, and it's a lovely relaxing boat but get, get a boat to uh, Hollywood Studios and then get another cable car all the way back to, well, back to the bus stop at Jamaica at the uh, Disney Caribbean Beach Resort and then back to Disney Springs to <laughs> check out some more um, Star Wars Disney merchandise and, and probably waste a load more money and buying a load of rubbish because they, they had some good stuff there. I mean, I... <laughs> I've bought so much stuff. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get it all home. And we have bought another bag. <laughs> we bought another bag, um, and 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 I did. I, I've said. I've. I have said in previous vlogs that the the kind of the magic's gone. There's no. There's, there's no cheap cheap stuff anymore. Well, I, I found somewhere. I did find some on international drives. It's just like the old days. But I thought I'd have a a hot caffeinated beverage at Joffrey's because I heard so much about it with Eleanor Dreaming and I went for a, a nice a nice cup of tea I've got to be honest it was pretty awful pretty poor I thought <laughs> I've, Starbucks can do a decent cup of tea welcome everyone this is Master's Joe also Master's Joe 75 on Instagram I've got my caffeinated hot beverage Joffrey's let your eyes be your guide did you know that Adam Nawu was at Galaxy's Edge the day after I was there? I can't believe it. Look, I'm on, I'm on the, uh, what's it, what is it called? The Skyliner. I'm on the Skyliner. We are now travelling along with... I can't believe I got my stick back, my tripod from uh, Galaxy's Edge, thanks to my wife for emailing um, Disney. So I picked this up from uh, Disney Springs. I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, we will be taking a scenic spin around the Skyliner turn station. Please remember...
remain seated. This station was designed for turning only. This is for turning only, everybody. Turn to the dark side. Is that, is that full? That, yeah. This is the boardwalk. I absolutely love it. My son always, um, well, the last time we were here in 2019, he picked up, you know, one of those Disney, um, like toffee apples. He got like the Mickey Mouse one. He's already had one on this holiday. Uh, we got our last visit, Disney Springs. He got the, um, oh, was it like the poison apple from Snow White? But uh, yeah, my, my wife was gutted because, <laughs> because she loves funnel cake. And the best funnel cake I think on Disney property is the one um, outside the Hall of Presidents at Magic Kingdom. They do the best one because so, we have sampled a few. But my wife was guided because they've got a funnel cake station here, which which she got some last time we were here when we watched the fireworks. This is a great place to watch the fireworks, by the way. And again, it's free to get to, uh, but the, the <laughs> but, it, but it's closed down like a lot of places since the pandemic. It was closed down. I love going in this store. There's a bakery here. There used to be a bakery further down. There's a bakery here um, where my son will obviously choose his cake. But I like checking out the merch because sometimes you see stuff that you don't see in the actual parks or at Disney Springs. So I like to have a, have a little, you know, mooch round, have a little browse, see what I can see. Um, I wanted to. I, I I love the boardwalk so much, and I I don't I don't collect pins. I don't have many pins, but I like I, I buy the odd few. I'm not really sure about that Obi Wan and Emperor pins. I thought they looked a bit rubbish. The 2024 very very much remind me um, the latest merch for 2024 of um, Timmy Mallet for some reason. But I wanted to pick up a pin for the uh, boardwalk, now, just as a souvenir. I mean, again, they're not cheap, but it's a nice little. Um, reminder of your holiday they got they have got loads of star wars star wars stuff um, i did pick up a, a couple of pins at galaxy's edge and i got a fridge magnet which wasn't cheap for rise of the resistance look at that stormtrooper one that reminds me of chuffy Far. but <laughs> but the uh the uh the fridge magnet for rise of the resistance it was quite expensive but cheaper than ferrari world strangely enough I always used to um, pick up uh, Disney World Baseball on my previous visits and then they stopped doing them. I think there wasn't one for 2019 or 2018, I think. And then obviously I haven't been for five years, so I was well happy to see base baseballs back in the store. I think that was $14.99. And these are the frames for 2024. These were $34.99. Um, I really like them because they're proper kind of 80s style which is probably i mean look at all this stuff it is like timmy timmy mallet and whack a day but and that t-shirt was good quality I, I i've also started to realize the character warehouse is full of rubbish and the t-shirt the, the actual t-shirts although they're like um ten dollars fifteen dollars a lot of them the quality is just rubbish and 
I saw some of the t-shirts here that were in the um, character warehouse. Like, because, you know, I do watch on YouTube, but also went on my previous visits. But the quality in the character warehouse was rubbish, whereas these are as thick as anything. So I'm starting to think that maybe Disney do make some items for the character warehouse. Um, so, so really, you're not getting the bargain you kind of thought of. The baseball caps were nice, but I left that store with a Broadwalk pin and uh, this baseball. I absolutely love it, and that will join my collection at home. But now it's time to get on our boat all the way to Hollywood Studios. I imagine these boats get pretty busy in the mornings and the evenings when the park closes. But during the day, it's absolutely lovely. And, and it, it's free. I mean, you know, I don't think people realise how many free things you can do at Disney. And as I said, I wasn't going to do this because I've done it before. But it's purely because <laughs> I had to go to Lost and Found at Disney Springs. And I thought, oh, you know, we've, 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 got, we've got time. So let's, uh, you know, let's do a boat trip and, and go on the old uh, Skyliner. Um, but yeah, it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice relaxing um, day. But when we previously went, we we drove we we drove to the um, resorts. But things have changed since we were last year because uh, because we we drive to the resort and we'd say, oh yeah, we've got a reservation for whatever restaurant. They let you park up, but now you now you can't do that at all. You have to actually travel by uh, Skyliner or um, monorail. To, you know to get to um to get to the location this bit here is perfect for watching the fireworks so you can watch the fireworks for um hollywood studios and epcot in the same place it's absolutely it, it's it's brilliant it's it's um it's one of the one of those things that you can't really describe you have to kind of witness it but it's just such a lovely lovely atmosphere on the boardwalk i'd love to stay in a, a disney um hotel one day i mean some of them look a, look a bit ropey if i'm honest but i think i think if i was going to come back to to disney world because i see the thing is i thought this, i thought this was like a one-off because it's so expensive now compared to when i last came in 2019 it's just so expensive the food's expensive i'm not talking about disney because disney apart from the miserable <laughs> the miserable people cashiers in a the um, character warehouse on International Drive. Most people at Disney, you know, Disney Springs and in the parks have been wonderful. There was some miserable lady when we were getting our tickets from Disney Springs last week. But yeah, people have been so nice. Um, some of the magic has gone, but I loved, I, I, I loved Hollywood Studios so much. I did so much stuff there and I didn't see everything I wanted to see that I would I do want to come back and um you know I I am you know I'd fallen out of love with Disney but I, I love it I absolutely do love coming here and if I do come again I'd like I'd like to stay on maybe Disney property for a few days so I can go to the park every single day like I did in Abu Dhabi in Dubai but then after that maybe move on to a villa you know so kind of do the Disney parks within the first, I don't know, first four or five days, probably four days I'd say, is, is, what, I, is what I would need uh, to, to fully enjoy Galaxy's Edge. But also, because I didn't really, because I'd never been to, to I love Toy Story as well. I'd never been to Toy Story Land before. Um, and I didn't, because I was so into the Star Wars, I went on it because my son loves Toy Story and my wife does as well. I went on the, on the rides, but I didn't take it all in. I was like, right, let's get back to Galaxy's Edge. So I do, I do want to come back and, and, even, <laughs> and even get in this boat to Hollywood Studios. That was hard for me because I knew and I could see from um, the skyliner, I could see uh, Galaxy's Edge and, and the, uh, um, the, the spires as well. So... <laughs> I de yeah, I definitely want to come back. I absolutely love this place. I love, I love um, Florida, and um, I'm, I'm just so happy to be back.
So back on the Skyliner to uh, Disney Caribbean Beach Resort, um, pick up a bus there, and then back to Disney Springs, where I've got a bit more shopping to do, because because <laughs> I want to go, I want to go to World of Disney, check out what I've got there. Because I, because I, I, I'm not going. I love Tron, because I'm not going to Magic Kingdom. I haven't seen any Tr- Tron merch anywhere whatsoever. But also, I want to go back to the Star Wars trading post because there's, there's a few things that I uh, mentally made a note of that I wanted to uh, to pick up all Star Wars related. So I saw this uh, Droid Factory R2 Sam. Again, this was available on um, Shop Disney UK online, but I missed out on it because I didn't have the cash to splash. And um, it's one of a Jabber's cell barge, um, (laughs) what do you call them? Drink servers. So uh, yeah, I, I picked one of them up. Not it wasn't it wasn't cheap like the one like the Christmas one that I got from the uh, character warehouse. So that was fourteen dollars ninety nine. Only normally I pick up two droids, one to open, one to display. I just bought I bought one in that case. I don't know if I will um, open it or because because I, I like the um, Return of the Jedi fortieth anniversary logo on there. I thought that would look nice with my retro collection figures, but um, I'll probably keep it in the box. For now and see <laughs> see see if it survives the journey home and then that then if it's battered i'll open it up but the, the star wars trading post there was there was basically loads of stuff in there that i saw on my last visit these these are wind up droids they're they're really really nice so they've got um a bb unit they've got chopper and r2d2 and i think they were i can't i can't remember how much they were i think they were like um Eleven ninety nine, I think. Um, and th- the stuff in the cabinet, like DJ Rex, he was like two hundred dollars. Lo- lovely, um, lovely stuff in there. I like the Darth Vader castle. That was nice. And then you've got the uh, the chrome looking. I think it's pewter stormtrooper. But all, all very nice. But that droid depot T-shirt, <laughs> that was expensive. But that that was lovely thick material. That was coming home with me. I was tempted to get the Millennium Falcon. I saw that in the park as well, but where, it wasn't expensive. But where 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 do you put it? Because uh, it's quite small. Um, and I, oh, I've, as I've mentioned on, on many occasions, I'm running out of space. I like that water bottle. It's very much like the lightsaber that I built. Uh, and the mugs, every, look, all the merch was great. Um, I, I didn't really like those t-shirts. There was that matching baseball cap, fridge magnet. <laughs> So I took I took that because a lot of the fridge magnets are this set as well with Ned B. I had to pick that up as well. That was forty nine ninety nine, so that wasn't cheap. But look at look at these um these are pets toys. This is a, this is a ball for a dog. <laughs> that is amazing. I wish I had a dog. I would have bought it. But honestly, I think that I think I think the training post is the best place. Again, this this fridge magnet wasn't cheap. I think this was. Um, I think it was 19.99, and uh, but again, still cheaper. Really heavy, still cheaper than Ferrari World, and then the, the little Star Tours ship. That was 9.99. I, I picked one of that, that up. I mean, I you know I, I love Star Tours. I've got a real soft spot for it. And these these are these droids as well. So they're remote control, like the one that I built at the Droid Depot. So they, they've got Chopper, BB-8, and um, r2d2 and they were really good but i mean you can buy um was it 120 dollars you can buy these models anywhere but yeah I, sp- I spent loads of money again in the trading post but and then we thought we'd get some lunch Jalapeno. Oh, Miss Vicky, I know these. Yeah, they sell these. Oh, look, they're going crazy. They're going crazy. Do you want some sauces now? Yeah, get yeah, hand mustard, please. Spicy buffalo. It's Britain. Yeah
trip, right? This is the only one they got, babe. Okay. Oh, you got hot sauce as well? Yeah. It feels like a burger. Yeah. Hot, hot. I don't really want hot sauce. It doesn't look very Oh, wow. That looks really good. But I saw the picture on the, on, you know, on the, um, on the board. What have you got? Is it? Stew bag. Oh, it's lovely. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. So I had a full Montague at the Earl of Sandwich. I haven't been to the Earl of Sandwich for, uh, for years. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. It also helps the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.